Okay, on the bench we have some new 3D printer filament. This is from Sane Smart. This is some flexible TPU filament, except in blue this time, in a, a kind of iridescent blue. I've had really good luck with the Sane Smart TPU, and Honestly, the only reason I've been buying it is because that's what my local Amazon has been stocking. And I, oh, look at, oh, I am really looking forward to this. So I love that color. That is sweet. So what we'll do is we'll queue this up on the i3 Mega and see how this works. But I anticipate good things. So... Lately, I've been trying to do some more good video quality for you guys, and you've noticed I've been doing some different video format. Well, unfortunately, my uh, camera mic that I've had on the DSLR is lacking lately. So what I did is I picked up this new Rode Video Mic Go, and we're going to give it a try on the channel. It has a suspended uh, microphone, a shotgun style microphone with uh, no power required, which is new for me. My previous microphone required a nine volt battery on board and forever you forget to shut it off and the thing goes dead. I'm thinking this is gonna be good for run and gun stuff. It doesn't come with uh, a dead cat, uh, which is the big fuzzy thing you normally see over top of the foam. So we're gonna have to see how that works. But I think this will allow me to bring some really good audio to the run and gun, the vlog format style videos. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Along the lines of the <laughs> make things better in the video department, we'll see how this works out. I got an Opteca uh, fisheye lens, but this is not actually a lens. It's just a a screw, well, it is a lens, but it, it's a screw on over top of an existing lens. So what I'll use this over top of my existing kit lens on my Canon 70D and allow me to do uh, a fisheye view, which will be kind of handy out in the studio to bring you kind of a wide, wide angle. And I know the outside edges are going to be out of focus, but in the, in, the, in the interest of doing budget filmmaking and trying to bring you the best content for the, the cheapest amount of money, this was an option. So we're gonna give it a try. I got some new surface mount voltage regulators as well this week. These were just an eBay sourced LM7805 voltage regulator. So I'm gonna use these on the um, uh, RC strobe project that I got those PCBs in a couple weeks ago. And this was, the, I think, the last component that I was missing was the voltage regulator. And then we're good to go. And then we can uh, bake them in the uh, SMD oven that you've seen on the channel. I did a review on it. And uh, we'll see how those, uh, those PCBs work out. So it should be fun. In the neighborhood of bringing good video. This is the run cam. Now I already have one of these and I've shown you this on the channel before. In fact, we did a modification of this for improving the audio on the run cam two. So the run cam two comes <laughs> extremely well packaged. And this is uh, a nifty little action camera for quad flying and well just about anything you want but these are really well suited to to quads and uh, aircraft and stuff it's a 1080 60 frame per second camera you can also do other modes on board but pretty much the max that you're going to go is 1080 at 60 frames and it, it has this nifty uh, orange case i really really like them and with the mod that you saw me do previously, you can do the attenuation of the audio, which works really good for quadcopters and stuff. It comes with a, a few other nifty things, such as we have all the connections that we need to do video out, out to a quad, 
We have some straps to hold it down. More of the USB cables and the video out. And these are really handy little uh, slide-in container or uh, holder that you can hook it up to a tripod mount. So nifty little camera. I already have one on the existing quad, but uh, I needed a second. That way I don't have to switch between them constantly. So handy dandy. Along those lines, I grabbed a couple of SanDisk uh, 32 gig micro SD cards just from Amazon. Link is down below my recommended stuff. These work fantastic. They're the real real deal. They're not clones and never have a problem. So the 32 gig has come down in price quite a bit. So that'll work good with one of these. For the 3D printing aspects and the, the projects that we have on the go, a couple of spare hot ends. Now these were just eBay specials. They are no name brand. These are E3D clones. I do have the real thing by the way and amazing hot end. I don't have it installed on a printer yet but I know exactly what to expect from it and these little clones will be just handy on the CR10 should the need arise. We have this way we have the spare block, we have the spare heater, we have the nozzle, we have the heat break, we have everything including the PTFE tube uh, coupling here. And we got two of them for a budget budget price. So it's good to have spares. That way when I get heavy into printing again, particularly this fall when, uh, when the weather turns south, I do a lot of printing. And I don't want to be down, I don't want to be waiting because I have a, a component that I need or whatever. So I order this stuff slow boat from China and then we have it. This is an interesting one. I'm thinking this is gonna be really fun. This is actually a Boscam uh, FPV monitor. It's an FPV watch. It's a 5.8 gigahertz video receiver for uh, flying quads and stuff. The idea is you could watch your video feed on your wrist. It just comes with a wristband and a 5.8 gig receiver, uh, all built into one with a battery pack, USB charge. And I, admittedly, I don't know a lot about these, but what I have seen is uh, I've seen Steel Davis using this for live streaming uh, FPV feeds. And I thought that would be fantastic. And for 32 bucks, you could take this out to the field and next time uh, I can either make a, uh, a holder to set my cell phone up and stream what's coming from my quadcopter to you guys and do that live through my cell phone on YouTube as a live stream. I thought that might be really fun for 32 bucks and just, I don't know, just something neat. If nothing else, you can have this in your FPV backpack. It doesn't take up much space and then you can pull it out and share with others on site and let them see the video feed at minimum. At maximum, I think this would be a great, great tool to use for us to stream some live FPV. Then you can see what my quad is doing really live real time in the air while I'm flying it. Kind of neat. And one last thing for today. There's lots more mailbag on the shelf. I got some props shipped in from Amazon. I've never tried these. These are Team iFlight FPV, teamiflight-rc.com. Now, I'm always willing to try new props because you never know. You might get something really cool. <laughs> Check out the shape on these things. Those are crazy. Not only do they have a whole bunch of what I would consider loft, they're aggressive, and then look at the tip angle on these. That's gonna be kind of neat. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll put those on, and <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. They may just make a lot of noise. They may draw a huge amount of amps, but they also might work really, really well. You never know. If nothing else, they are the craziest looking, wonkiest looking prop I have uh, ever tried on mine whatsoever. Very cool. If you like what I'm doing here, click a thumbs up on this. I really appreciate it, guys. I will see you next video, and let's get out and make some cool things, and I'll bring you some cool video, and let's, uh, let's have some fun together. Cheers, guys.